today we're going to learn about mallow. It has many wonderful properties. One thing it's great for is vitamin A. So if you're wanting to up your intake of vitamin A, it's a good way to, to use it. So it also has mucilage, which is also the same properties as its cousin, the marshmallow. So many people get them confused and they say the wrong name, but people used to make marshmallows from the roots of the marshmallow. So you can look that one up. So let's go out and do some foraging. So we're here with the wind and the mallow. So it's looking really lovely. So this is prime place to pick flowers. You wouldn't really be wanting to pick too much of this, but this one here looks lovely. It's nice and fresh and young looking. This one's starting to look a bit woody. So we're just gonna collect some flowers and so this will grow on most roadsides. So as you drive in the car, you're gonna see it everywhere and then you're gonna be wishing you could get out and, and pick some. So I think I'm, I'm about done now. So now we're back with our mallow. So we're just gonna have a wee closer look at it. So you've got the leaves, you've got the stalks, you've got the flowers and the buds. And then we've got the little cheese, which is high in protein. So if you're out walking and you're feeling a bit weary and tired and hungry, these will help you a great deal. So you can use, the, these are the roots. These ones have already been dried. So you can use all parts of this plant, which is pretty amazing, which is a, sometimes a good thing to know. You can eat the whole thing because sometimes you can only eat the roots or you can eat the leaves or so on. And so it can be a wee bit confusing, but with this one, you can eat the whole lot. Sometimes the stalks might be a bit dry and yucky. So you, of course, you don't have to eat them, but it certainly wouldn't do you any harm. So some of the properties of this, it has mucilage. And so um, there's great healers in this. So I've dried it and so I can use this when it's when it's beautiful and it's everywhere and fresh and young. I like to pick it and dry it um, for later use throughout the year, but also um, can use it, uh, blanch it and pop it in the freezer. And you can just label for soups or stews. Um, it's quite versatile. So I have the roots here, which I've ground and so I like to use this for tea because it's quite a good pain relief and easy to use. And so then I use this one here, which is ground. So I often sieve out the big bits and keep that for the tea. But I also use this one for, um, you can mix it to make a poultice, um, or you can use this for a gut powder, which I use a bit of aloe vera and a wee bit of lemon. And I have it half an hour before I have food in the morning and it's really good for lining the guts, kind of like a band-aid, it sort of um, protects it from whatever you're going to eat that day. And it's just a, a great healer because it heals infections. So it's, it's quite a powerful weed and it's everywhere. So you can also use it in salads um, and it's quite nice with rice and a rice dish, of course, with your little um, nuts in it that you can also dry and you can have it like a like roasted nuts or something um, but yeah it's it's there's endless things that you can do with it so I hope that you can get a chance to get out and use it because it's you know great for your immune system and we all want to look after our bodies because that's what God wants us to do and he also wants us to show others how he loves them and how we can also help them with their journey to health so why don't you have a go at using it and also sharing what knowledge you've learnt. Mm -hmm.